What's going on everyone, Dr. Drake here, and welcome to episode 16 of your weekly Wednesday Wine Review, where we spread knowledge one sip at a time. Before we start, make sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, so you never miss out on the content. This week, we are featuring a type of wine that has not been featured on this channel, and is known as Rosé, which is the French term but is also used widely in English-speaking countries. Other terms also include risotto, which is Spanish, risotto, which is Italian. This is from the Chateau de Pampelon producer from the Côte de Provence, which means the slopes of Provence, meaning all the grapes sourced are grown on hillsides. Provence rosé is some of the best rosé you can have in the entire world, with its pale pinkish color, lean style, lightly spicy, red berry, and sometimes a touch of minerality. Rosé wine, in case you don't know, is a pink wine made from red grapes, with a restricted maceration process. What that means is how long the grape skins macerate in the juice of the grapes. There are sometimes even white grapes added to the blend, but this is not widespread and is all up to the winemaker. Pinot Gris being the one white grape that can solely make a rosé style of wine, and it's because of its pinkish grayish colored skins. Very pale rosés like the one we have today, and are usually produced in Provence, France, use the direct press method. In this method, the grapes either distemmed or whole cluster are pressed immediately after harvest, resulting in very pale pink juice, which is then fermented. In France, these wines are often referred as Von Gris. Rosé has gained huge popularity over the past 10 years. What did give it a bad name in the past was a process called White Zinfandel, which was simply produced by accident. And we'll talk more about this when Zinfandel is featured on this channel. Let's get to this wine. The wine brings off a light pinkish hue with slight hints of orange. The nose brings burst in fruit like cherry and raspberry with a chalkiness in the background. The palate is much more appealing as it is crisp and refreshing with raspberry and cherry notes carrying the way with uplifting acid medium body with subtle spice notes and a slash of minerality going through on the finish. This wine is enjoyable, well balanced, and great value for the $12 price tag we have in our chairman program right now. I think this is a wine you buy 6 to 12 bottles of and drink it all the way through summertime. It truly checks off every single box. This wine should be served as an aperitif like I did with dairy-free cheese, saltine crackers, and select meats. But if you choose to pair this wine with a meal, try ceviche and any type of fish or a fresh salad. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay tuned for next week's prescription from the doctor.